I'm Emma Crew. I'm a research professor at SOAS, University of London, in the Department of Anthropology and Sociology. When I did my really embedded fieldwork in the House of Commons, it was just after the expenses scandal. And people were really reeling from it. It had a massive impact, both on politicians, who felt like they'd been through fire. You know, they'd been so profoundly distressed by the whole scandal and the fallout from it. But also, it really affected the public. And I think it kind of amplified the cynicism towards politicians like nothing for years and years and years. So it's an important event, but it's also misunderstood. So the other reason why I think it's interesting is that people just assumed it was about corruption. But actually, I think a more interesting interpretation is that it's really about secrecy. So the story plays out. And what we've tried to depict here is what's not always told in a political story. The individuals are important, and the kind of system, like the culture of generosity about expenses, is important. But the relationships are all also absolutely crucial. If I can turn our attention to some of these objects, um, these represent two of the types of object that the public and journalists got really upset about. So, on the one hand, they got really annoyed about these very pedestrian things like bath plugs and particularly loo paper. They would always report on why are MPs claiming for loo paper and for these things like bath plugs. So that was really hard for people to get their head around. But the other items that really annoyed people were these extraordinary things like this is actually, it's a birdhouse, but it's kind of symbolic of the most famous symbol of the expenses scandal, which was a duck house, which would have sat on, on someone's pond. And the irony of the duck house is that the MP in question just gave a whole pile of receipts to the officials and said, look, I don't know what I'm eligible to claim for. Um, I spend a lot more on my second home, which I have to have because I'm in the constituency. So um, you decide. And actually, the officials didn't pass the duck house. They didn't allow the claim for the duck house. <laughs> the, and in a way, this whole exhibition is about saying, politics is really complicated, very exciting, sometimes incredibly disappointing and frustrating. Let's find out and really dig into the detail and really find out what's going on. Um, so